Hello and welcome to another episode of me fighting bosses on honor mode, trying not to die. Uh, it's been pretty successful so far. Uh, normally I do a rundown of all the builds on my videos before I start, uh, because there's going to be a little bit of build up before the actual fight here. I'm going to keep the builds short and sweet. Uh, we got a Starion, he's a monk, he punches things, um, and then he's got some fighter and uh, some other class in there. Rogue. So he can punch more with his bonus action. Uh, he's got gear to support the punching of things. It's nice. We got Will. He is a sorcerer, warlock, fighter. Uh, sorcerer, warlock, so he can eldritch blast a lot. Fighter, so he can action surge and eldritch blast a lot. Also fighter, so he can bump up his crit chance as a champion fighter. So we got a feat, increasing our spell crit chance. We got this, increasing our spell crit chance, or all of our crit chance. We got this, increasing our crit chance. We got champion fighter passive, increasing our crit chance. And he's firing a bunch of Eldritch Blast, so he's going to be just pumping out damage at range. Very, very nice. We've got Lazel. She is a Barbarian. She has uh, two levels in fighter at the end for action surge, but ten levels in Barbarian. It's so that we can rage like a tiger. Then we can swing our axe around like a tiger. And uh, doing that makes them bleed like a tiger. Um, and then when they bleed, uh, she's got stuff uh, whenever she applies status effects. It does other stuff. Uh, she's got this ring right here so that when she does damage, it, they take radiant damage. This thing, when they take radiant damage, they get radiating orbs. Uh, this thing, when they get radiating orbs, they also get reverberation. She's just going to knock people down, make them blind so that they miss. And then when she knocks them down, they're not going to be able to stand back up. And then we've got Shadowheart. She is our support slash crowd control. She doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, uh, though she can now that I got this thing. Um, but she is going to be healing us. She's going to be applying buffs when she heals because of this ring that you get. Or wait a minute, not that one. This ring that you get very early on. Uh, these gloves that you get very early on. You can get better versions of these, but those are the ones I got. Um, and then she's got a bunch of stuff that increases her, her spell save DC. Does this one do it? No. Uh, but this does, and this does, and this does, and this does, and I think this does. Yeah, this does a lot. So her spell save DC is just really, really high, and basically nothing saves. So when she uses her dominate person or dominate mo or dominate person control monster, when she does her status effects, it's gonna work. Um, so she's got you know some illithid stuff to help out with that. Uh, she is a bard. Uh, for 10 levels and a cleric for 2 levels. Cleric just so her heals actually heal some more. Uh, so we're going to go fight Gortash. Uh, my plan was to go all the way up through there on video, but I think I'm going to uh, just skip right here in the editing process and just go up to Gortash. Unless something crazy happens, and I'll include that. But if everything goes according to plan, I will see you guys when I actually get to Gortash. Okay, fought my way up to Gortash. We're going to open this door, get on in there, and uh, try not to die. Uh, I, I didn't get up here completely unscathed. I know we're all at full health, but I did have to use a short rest. Uh, I used Mass Healing Word once in combat, so, you know, I mean, I used some other stuff. But, you know, as far as healing goes, it, it wasn't it wasn't flawless. There was, there was some damage taken. Now, Gortash is going to be over here, and uh, his main shtick is uh, that he's got a bunch of traps everywhere. Uh, so I'm actually going to start this off. Uh, and even if you haven't you know, played through the game before, you'll know he's got a lot of traps, because the room that I just fought my way through uh, also had a lot of traps. So I'm going to come through this way and uh, go, oh, look at that. Oh, actually, do I, I was going to disarm it. Can I just, just... Oh, it's got sturdy. Like, I could maybe disarm it, or maybe destroy it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just go over here and disarm. I feel like that's going to be probably easy. Oh, yeah, DC 10. I got a plus 10 bonus on that. Easy. All right, so we're, we got to, we're going to do a little bit of prep. This is honor mode. I'm going to, you know, take it seriously. That! That! Kind of makes sense. Oh, that only did six damage. That looked like it was going to be a lot worse. Oh, well, I mean, if that's just going to damage me anyway. Should I just, like, shoot at it? I think I'm going to deal more than ten damage, though. That's the issue. Alright. Uh, well, Will. Will's going to deal more than ten damage to it. Oh, oh, 
there's another one right there. That's uh, little buddy. Steady now. Let's let everybody get back here. Astarian's doing some some stuff I don't agree with over there. I'm sure there's other traps. I just may not be seeing right away. Uh, but before shooting that, let's uh, check his stuff here. Uh, legendary resistance. I assumed he was going to have that. Uh, 16 AC, not very much, but he's got a lot of health. Uh, you have advantage on intimidate. Okay, sure. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, nothing here looks like it's going to be new, so they probably don't show those until combat actually starts, which is fine. Alright, I guess that... Oh, there's that one there. So that'll probably start combat, because that's going to blow up and hit that guy. So we may as well hit old Gortash with that one while we're at it. Oh, he's throwing a thing at me? Is that what it is? I don't know. Let's just uh, do that. Now, he does have a shield. I remember he has a shield. I don't remember what it does. Shell resistance. Cortex has immunity to thunder damage, resistance to physical and elemental damage for one turn, and extra bonus action. Okay. So he's just got a lot of resistance. There's no force resistance, though. Um, I don't see any other... Uh, stuff though. Yeah, alright. What's this? Reflection. Any projectiles fired this character sent back to where it came from. See, that's good to know. Need to stay focused. Alright, um, I think. Well, hold on, let's double check his resistances. Yeah, he does have resistance to magical bludgeoning and such. Um, I believe what I'm gonna do here. Try to get them as grouped up as possible there. Okay, and then I like I really shouldn't be doing this on honor mode, but you know whatever we're gonna use it because if I lose concentration, Lazel gets just out for a turn. Okay, um, we're gonna see if we can get Lazel. Uh, just kill these guys. Just straight up. Taking position. Alright, so. Um, did we just trigger a. Bo oh, we did just trigger a concussion grenade. Okay. Don't know how that happened exactly, but whatever, it's fine. So this thing reflects projectiles, and he, to my knowledge, just has. Yeah, that. Okay, that's fine. So he's gonna have resistance. But, I'm going to do a lot of damage. I don't know if it's going to get through all that. But, it's going to be enough to kill him. But, we're going to try. Alright, that's one attack down. Two attacks down. Haste. Three attacks down. None of those were crits. That's upsetting. Oh, never mind. I just didn't. I don't have a bonus action anyway. I believe with action surge, it goes past that honor mode ruling of not getting your double attack. It does. Alright. So now, I know he has legendary resistance somewhere. Maybe he doesn't. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, he should have legendary resistance. So this probably won't work, but like, I have to get through his legendary resistance at some point. So... Yeah, I missed. Sound of a Ditch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually have a Starion go next because I can knock them prone. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna knock them prone first. Or attempt to. Okay, cool. Now that he's prone, I'm gonna stun him. I don't know if it. I think it's just gonna stay 
prone now the next turn. And then, uh, yeah. Other main hand attack, just gonna punch him. And then it doesn't really matter which one of these I use. I don't want to use push, because I don't want to move him around. Yeah, I mean, I'll just use the knockout again. But I don't want to use the standard one, because uh, this one attacks twice. Okay, he's down. And Oh, he started combat with Eldritch Blast. I'm like, why has he got all this stuff grayed out? Okay, he already, he already did some stuff. All right. Now, as much as I do want to just try and kill Gortash round one, um, I think I'm better off. He has. How do I have disadvantage against him? Oh yeah, Gortash blinded me. I forgot about that. That's so lame. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I guess yeah, just keep attacking it, but yes. Yeah, Okay, two of them hit. Critical hit on both, just like my build is designed to do. Uh, I should actually probably get away from that concussion grenade. I don't know what I'm doing over here. That makes sense. Is it just that dude in Gortash? Okay, I don't know why I thought there'd be... Oh! I don't know why I thought there'd be more enemies than them. Um... You know, eh, no, nah, I don't need to do that. I'm a, I'm a barbarian. What am, what am I healing for? Nine hit points, eight more than I need. He's not going to be doing anything for a while. This one is still a threat, technically. So we're going to miss him. And we're going to smack him it all. Alright. Uh, Astarian. Knock him down. Oh, what the hell? Astarian fly over here. And then knock him down. Alright, so this guy's going to be taken care of, yep, boom, boom. And then we should be able to kill Gortash right here. Oh yeah, I was going to say, probably just one hit, honestly. And I don't know if any traps are set to go off, so I'm going to do that to heal. Alright, and then uh, make sure you loot his body so that you can get his uh, nether stone. And uh, I think he's got something cool here. Uh, oh yeah, his, his thing gives you Sunbeam, his crossbow. Or Dazzling Ray. It's kind of just weak, weaker Sunbeam. Or Moonbeam. Sunbeam? Solid? Sunbeam. Yeah, I don't know why that sounds wrong, but yeah, Sunbeam. Alright, but that is Lord Enver Gortash. Um, yeah. He, he can be tricky. Those explosives can really mess you up. I think me blowing up the two at the start and the one over here, like that, that really paid off. Like, Lazel was down to nine health. If this thing was active, it may have interfered in some way that could have killed Lazel. Um, yeah, so there's Gortash on the floor, dead. Uh, loot his stuff, and I think you get a little conversation with... Yeah. But we're not here for the conversation. We're here for me uh, killing bosses. So we killed the boss. Video over. All right, that is it for Gortash. Um, I believe it's just like Orin Elderbrain. I want to do the dragon, but also that one is tough not on honor mode, and I don't want to lose my run. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll do the dragon, maybe not. Uh, if the people who end up seeing this want to see me fight the dragon, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough people saying, yeah, fight the dragon, I'll go fight the dragon and risk dying on honor mode for views. Uh, so that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.